So here at Hawks Physiotherapy, we're always trying to improve the service we provide. So obviously the human body is, is complicated. There's lots and lots of intertwining elements that in, involve in why someone has pain or suffers the symptoms from an injury. It's not always just as simple as structure equals harm and damage equals pain and so on. So the reality is, is that many of these aspects obviously are you know, wide and far, psychological and so on and so forth. One of the areas that was easy for tapping into was actually thinking about the nutritional side of the coin. So obviously there's broad nutritional things which can be improved upon and not everyone's diet is perfect. So supplementation can be really useful. There are however, some, some supplements which are things that you generally wouldn't be getting from your diet. And this is something that we thought we would offer to our patients. And we've been doing this now for at least a month or two and it's been great. The feedback has been brilliant. Some of the supplements are particularly selling well. The main one that's selling the best, I would say, is turmeric. Um, and turmeric makes a lot of sense. So here's the turmeric. So as you can see, it's got our branding on. Uh, it's got the, uh, the black pepper extract in there as well, which helps it to absorb 2000% better than it would in itself. The active ingredient is curcumin. Obviously that's in the turmeric. If you take curcumin in isolation, it doesn't absorb very well, but that is the thing that has the anti-inflammatory elements. Obviously turmeric also has many other benefits, it's antioxidant and so on, but the reality is from my patients and the feedback I've been having is it's been really good for pain for certain joint related issues, particularly arthritis. So anyone who's got more inflammatory based things, this is really good. And the research on it shows positive, positive outcomes. So we found that it's good for uh, pain and function in rheumatoid arthritis sufferers, better than diclofenac, which is, a, which is an anti-inflammatory drug. They found it was equally as effective for knee pain and osteoarthritis of the knee, uh, comparing that against ibuprofen. Obviously, there's no side effects therefore in that regard. So a lot of the ibuprofens and the anti-inflammatory drugs, they actually can have that detrimental effects to your stomach lining, which then means you need a secondary drug, which is usually an omeprazole or something of that sort. And then omeprazole is known to lower bone density in the longer term and so on and so forth. So the reality is turmeric is really good because it has no real side effects and it's easy to take. Um, and like I say, it was a great supplement idea. Even I take it myself and I have actually found that it, it does help certain little niggles that I was, was having. So patients so far have been feedbacking really good on this and the research on it is really good too. So that's turmeric. That's why we offer turmeric as one of the supplements we sell. So the next supplement that we sell is 5-HTP. Now basically this is to increase um, serotonin levels in the body. So there is a genetic disorder in quite a lot of people who have chronic pain, which actually is pain is resulting from low serotonin levels. Now obviously this is an unknown quantity as to the patients that I see if they've got that disorder, but it's a quite high prevalence. The other one that's really interesting is any patients who are on antidepressants. Um, obviously the aim of that drug is to increase serotonin, but obviously it's a drug. Now, if someone is injured uh, or is having problems, they may not be considered depressed clinically, but they might be suffering from forms of depression, which lowers serotonin. So 5-HTP is really good at trying to boost serotonin levels. So it helps with mood. So how you're feeling and things. We know how you feel is certainly negative feelings and negative thoughts impacts your body's ability to heal, repair, and also it affects your pain levels. So pain's really, really key, obviously, when it comes to what a patient can do to get themselves better. Obviously, the other thing is it helps with sleep. So again, sleep's really important for repair, sleep's really important for pain threshold. So again, this is another supplement which is really good for them type of patients. Obviously, if someone is taking that, the antidepressants, they can't take this because the serotonin levels will be boosted too high. But if you're not taking anything, this is sometimes quite a useful uh, tool for that. So that's 5-HTP. The next one is creatine. Now, you may have heard of creatine uh, monohydrate. Well, this isn't creatine monohydrate. This has got a different sort of delivery system than monohydrate. Uh, this is ethyl ester. Basically, this uh, is bonded differently because it's a bit more bioavailable. It's less hydrophilic, which means that, you know, if, well, you may not know, but if you've ever taken monohydrate, it's very, very water absorbing. So if someone has uh, the monohydrate, then it sucks a lot of water into the gut and people can feel a bit bloated and funny in their stomachs. Uh, obviously it boosts uh, their body weight, but it's obviously only water. Um, it obviously doesn't, uh, monohydrate doesn't deliver as much creatine 
to a cellular level as easily as Ethylista does. So this is a good alternative to the monohydrate. It probably is a little bit more expensive than monohydrate, but some people, myself included, find that taking monohydrate makes your stomach feel off. Whereas I take this one and it's fine. So again, creatine is a very, very well researched, very, very well supported in the evidence with regards to strength and power output, which obviously helps my patients because nine times out of 10, I'm trying to get them stronger. Yeah, so I'm giving them strength training, which is low repetition work. And we know that it increases power and strength output. So therefore it, it improves their ability to train and get effective training. Uh, there's another side benefit they found with this, which is actually improves mental acuity. Uh, and that obviously helps, uh, you know, maybe in particularly in the future, they might delve deeper into things like Alzheimer's and dementia. But obviously I don't give it to my patients for that purpose. It's more for that power and strength output for their exercise based stuff. So that's creatine. So you've got vitamin D3. So vitamin D is something which obviously in the UK is, is very highly deficient because of the lack of the sunlight that we get, particularly in the autumn and winter months. Obviously bone density is a big problem. It's a problem with regards to some patients I might have seen because they might have fallen and broken their hand or their wrist or broken their hip or whatever. And they might have done it innocuously as well, which is a good sign that they may have a bone density problem. Um, but it is advised by the government advisory panels anyway that we should all be, be taking this as a supplement through autumn and winter months anyway. Uh, so that's why I thought this was a really good one. It has other benefits in the body, of course, as well. Uh, it's a pro-hormone. Uh, rather than a vitamin, even though it's called vitamin D. Um, but basically, yeah, it's very useful for quite a lot of things and certainly for a lot of patients and most people in the UK, certainly at this time of year, this is a really good one for them to use. So a glucosamine sulfate, you may have heard of this. People use this a lot for joint pain, so arthritic type pains, uh, and people do swear by this. So again, it's something which is good to utilize with patients. Patients do find this can be very useful. The side benefits of glucosamine sulfate is actually even more impressive in the research, which is it lowers heart attack and stroke risk by 15%, um, which is quite amazing really. So obviously with that benefit alone, it's well worth taking. For my patients, some people definitely want to take glucosamine sulfate, find it really useful. It's been around for a long time. So again, it's something that's very good to have in clinic. So if a patient needs it or wants it, we've got it on hand. So that's glucosamine sulfate. The final supplement we've currently got is beetroot. So beetroot basically is, it's full of nitrates. So nitrates are vasodilators, which means it expands the, the, blood, the blood vessels, which means it delivers better oxygenation uh, and it can lower high blood pressure as well because if you open the vessels out, then they're not squashed down and the blood pressure actually lowers. Uh, again, that's a good side benefit. It is a definite benefit of beetroot. Uh, obviously, it's got a lot of other properties as well, which are very beneficial. But one of the main reasons we have it in clinic is again, we have people who have got low, low mobility and uh, they don't exercise that much and we need to get their exercise tolerance up, which relates to more endurance capacity. And beetroot has been shown in plenty of research studies to improve endurance capacity by a significant margin. So for athletes I see, it could be really useful, but for patients who are just mobility issues and have poor endurance, poor exercise capacity, beetroot's really useful there as well. So that's why we've got this in as well. So yeah, so all these are really good. We're selling them all, like I said at the beginning, the turmeric is the one that sells the most. I think there's a lot of buzz around that at the moment, but all of these supplements are really, really useful for the patients that I see on a daily basis. Uh, and they're all at a great price. We get them all sourced locally from a company called BioBraid. They put our own labels on. It's really, really good. And we know exactly where it's coming from. So yeah, so basically that's our supplement range for the moment. Um, but that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.